Next in our training, we're going to talk about storage and specifically about managed storage. Uh, this is everything that you save in my files and in team folders. The first setting that you will find here is the path where all the files are going to be stored. If you ever need to change this path to a new location, make sure to copy all the content in that path to the new one and then make the change in your settings. Next in our list is versions. And FileCloud by default is going to save three versions of your files in, in everything that you store in my files and team folders. If you want to change type to a different value, you can check, change it from here. Tied up to this value, it's also the skip versioning. That means that every file that you save that is not greater than two gigabytes is going to be versioned. If you don't want that, if you want every single file to be versioned, you can just keep here as minus one and all your files are will be versioned. Or if you want to exclude everything, for example, above 500 megabytes, you can put here everything that is above 500 megabytes. It's going to be ignored and no version is going to be created for it. If on, if you're not if you, don't, if you do not want your users to use my files and perhaps you only want them to use team folders or if you're only going to use network shares, you can disable the my files functionality from this global trigger. The next in, setting in our list is the use, user storage quota. How is quota being managed and calculated? So you can decide if you want to exclude the user shares or you want to include the user shares. That's how you want to calculate if, for example, if one user shares a file or a folder to another user, do you want to include that in the count of the recipient user or you want to exclude it? The next thing is you can send an email to the user that is nearing their storage quota on my files. If you want to enable that, you can check this box here and tied up to this setting, there is a threshold. And in this case is 10%. That means if the files go uh, to store more than 90% of the storage, the user will get an email. 